Performance Toyota's pulling out all the stops on this new model. The global SUV lineup, including the Sequoia, RAV4 and Land Cruiser is getting a major overhaul. And the Fortuner is not getting left out. Now, the Fortuner's no one-trick pony. It comes in different versions and body styles, all powered by diesel. Under the hood, the upcoming Fortuna is packing a punch with its 2.8-liter 1GD FTV diesel engine. And get this, it's pretty fuel-efficient too, clocking in at an estimated 7.6 liters per 100 kilometers. So, if you're into SUVs that pack a punch without guzzling gas like there's no tomorrow, the Fortuna might just be your ride of choice. But here's the kicker, it's not your average diesel. Hold on to your seats because here's where it gets juicy. Toyota's spicing things up with a 48-volt mild hybrid system. Not only is it going to slash fuel consumption and emissions, but it's also going to give you that extra power off the line for some seriously swift acceleration. This bad boy slick, mild hybrid setup and an integrated starter generator give it an edge in fuel economy. Toyota's dubbing this diesel hybrid powertrain as the GD Hybrid, and trust me, it's a game changer. With this hybrid setup, the SUV is going to sip fuel like it's savoring fine wine. Plus, thanks to regenerative braking, it'll harness kinetic energy during braking. And get this, the new Fortuna's riding on the TNGF platform, the same one found in Land Cruisers and Lexuses. Toyota's going all in on innovation, which is why they're throwing in a new mild hybrid setup, and that keeps things spicy. This TNGF platform can handle wheelbases ranging from 2,850mm to a whopping 4,180mm. On top of that, when it comes to muscle, the Fortuna ain't playing games. It can tow up to 3,100kg without a sweat. Now, that's what I call a serious upgrade. So why is this platform such a big deal? Well, it's all about performance and efficiency, and with Toyota leading the charge, you know you're in for a ride that's anything but ordinary. This game-changer will be the backbone of the upcoming Toyota Innova Hi-Cross. It will be the perfect fit for the new Fortuna, so if you're one of those die-hard diesel devotees, it looks like Toyota's got just the ticket for you. Some folks are still sticking to their diesel guns, and Toyota's got them covered with the option to get a Fortuna that is powered by a beastly 150 kilowatt, 500 newton meter, 2.8 liter turbo diesel engine. Paired up with a six speed automatic and a four wheel drive system with a rear diff lock, this SUV's ready to tear up some terrain. This is really good for people who are all about saving on diesel, whether it's because it's more convenient or they're in a spot where petrol just ain't an option. Now here's the deal, there are pros and cons to each setup, and we all know that. So why are they making so many changes so fast? Let's talk about that. The plan. Toyota's on a mission to revamp its image, and they're not holding back. Take a look at what they did with the latest Toyota Hi-Cross, talk about a glow up. And the Fortuna is getting the same treatment, we're talking smartphone projection, a panoramic sunroof, a revamped instrument cluster, and a slick 360-degree setup. Toyota's pulling out all the stops, especially when it comes to safety features. I mean, if the Innova Hi-Cross is getting a taste of it, you know the Fortuna's going to be locked and loaded. And we've been talking a lot about its performance because it deserves to be talked about in depth. It is a really capable SUV. But now, the Toyota Fortuna isn't just about power, it's loaded with tech. Think advanced driver assistance systems, blind spot detection, automatic emergency braking, all the essentials and more. It is time to say goodbye to that old hydraulic steering wheel. It's getting a modern electric upgrade for smoother handling. But Toyota didn't stop on the interior. So let's talk about features. The latest models packing LED headlights, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and some slick 17-inch alloy wheels. Plus, you've got a bunch of colors to choose from, like Glacier White, Silver Sky, and even Feverish Red. Now here's where it gets really handy. The interior is made to be functional. There's seating for seven inside, and you can fold those rear seats down for some serious cargo space. With all the seats up, you're looking at 200 liters in the trunk, 
but fold them down and boom, you've got a whopping 1,800 liters to play with. But let's talk about something that's been making headlines on the new Fortuna, which is the wheels and tires. And let me tell you, it's next level. When we're talking tires, we're talking sizes that range from 265 by 65 R17, tailor made for modern SUVs. But hey, it's not all bad news. Buyers get some sweet perks thrown in, like Toyota Connected Services. Think emergency calls and stolen vehicle tracking. Pretty nifty, right? Plus, the GX gets a lit-up instrument cluster, the GXL, and Crusade step up with dual-zone climate control. And the Crusade throws in some extra goodies like surround-view cameras, blind-spot monitoring, and rear cross-traffic alerts. But here's the burning question. Will it break the bank? Let's be real. All these upgrades must have cost them a lot of money, and that will not just disappear into thin air. If you ask me what the chances are of it being a budget-friendly ride, I would say slim to none? Let me explain. Price and competition First off, it's riding on the TNGF platform, which already sets the bar high on costs. Plus, throwing that mild hybrid setup, you can bet your bottom dollar it's going to cost a pretty penny. Toyota's not just stopping there, though. They're tossing in some fresh bells and whistles to sweeten the deal. So, brace yourselves. The new Fortuna might come with a hefty price tag. Toyota's gearing up to drop the hot new Fortuna over in Thailand first, and we're looking at a range depending on which trim level you're eyeing, kicking off at a cool $50,500. Now, we could sit here all day and talk about how their rivals could use this time to snag their diehard fans, but let's be real here. Toyota is renowned for its vehicle's strong resale value, which is a testament to the brand's reputation for reliability and quality. On average, Toyota vehicles retain 85.52% of their value over five years, ranking them sixth among all car brands. This impressive resale value is attributed to Toyota's consistent delivery of durable, high-quality vehicles that stand the test of time. Whether it's a standard model or a high-end variant, Toyota cars are known to maintain a resale value between 50 and 70%, ensuring that owners receive a substantial return on their investment. This makes Toyota a smart choice for buyers looking for a vehicle that will provide long-term financial benefits. And I get it. If you've been a fan of the Fortuna and you wanted to upgrade to the new model without paying a lot more, then this might be a bit of a disappointment. But Toyota has the answer for that. The new RAV4. The new RAV4 is also coming with a lot of new features and amazing performance, but the price bump hasn't been that much. You might have heard about the new upgrades thanks to all the hype, but people have been talking about the new upgrades more than anything for a good reason. The 2024 Toyota RAV4 is poised to redefine the compact SUV segment with its sleek design and cutting-edge technology. It promises a blend of performance, comfort, and safety, making it an exciting prospect for any driving enthusiast. And the prices start below the four tuners, and there are also several trim levels to choose from within each powertrain option, so the final price can vary depending on the specific features you select. But if you want to know more about the details, then check out our channel, because we've already made a video on it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you there.